Hello everybody. I uh, just want to give you a, an update on <clears throat> how I built this Bedini circuit so all you guys can start building them and get some tests out there. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I want to show you the, the parts and stuff. Let's see. I'm going to zoom on this. I built a I started off with the transistor right there. It called for a 2N3055 transistor, which I'm going to build another circuit with that one. But I used on this one, which also works, the silicone transistor, the TIP3055. That's what this is. Okay. Also, the just to set this up, first thing I did was solder the, this diode here from the E, the emitter, to the base on this side. Okay, you can see where the stripe is. I can't zoom in anymore, I got a one angle lens on here. You can see that. And that was an N4001. Next thing I did is solder the neon lamp from the center to the emitter, which is the last one. This is the emitter, base, center, emitter. Okay. And this is the neon lamp. I can focus in on that here. It says 120 volt AC. Don't worry about that. It does flicker and flash. You can see it. It's very faint but it calls for neon and that's the only one I could find and it works so the next thing is soldering this diode here the center diode off the center you can see the gray part is coming off the lead from the center now I used the 4005 the plans call for a 4007 so the new one I'm gonna build I'm gonna go find a 4007 I didn't find one at Radio Shack so I used the 4005 which works but it's only a 600 volt diode and the 007 I believe is a thousand volt so I'm gonna go to Fry's Electronics and find one there the next thing off the base is this little light bulb on the left here. Okay, right here. And that is just, I said in my last video it was a 30 milliamp, it's actually a 60 milliamp. 12 volt, 60 milliamp is that little light bulb there. Okay. Connected to that is the resistor. Very important. It's a 100 ohm half watt resistor. Okay, package of five, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now that gets soldered to the second lead on the potentiometer, the pot. Okay. So there's all your soldering. Now this white lead here off of the center diode. Okay. Actually have oh shit. Okay, off the center diode, <clears throat> I have a lead there and a lead before the diode on the center. You'll see that off to the left. I have two leads. One right here. 
and one after the diode. That's just for my connections. Okay, and I'll show you how those get hooked up here in a second. Okay, so that's the circuit. Everything that needs to be soldered. <clears throat> Next is how everything is hooked up. Let's start with the pot here. That's a 5K potentiometer right there. Let me zoom in. It calls for a 1K. So again, I have to go find a 1K. The 5K will work. That's the lowest one I found at Radio Shack that um, didn't require a little screwdriver deal on it. They do have a 1K, but it's one of those little tiny ones where you have to adjust it with a screwdriver. Okay, now how everything's hooked up. Off the pot, that green lead off the first part of the potentiometer goes to the coil here off of your charging coil the top part of your charging coil I wound the coil with 22 gauge magnet wire double wrapped by filler as close together as possible but I only got 400 turns it calls for 900 turns off the charging side a 23 gauge or 26 gauge wrapped together with a 23 gauge so my next one I'm going to do that okay so the green off the pot goes to the top part there the next one is the lead off of the center before the diode that goes to the bottom part of the charging circuit okay you see the red there goes to there which goes to there now the other hookups the top part of the battery side the uh, primary battery the one that runs it the one that gives the coil the power there's two leads that come off of that from the coil one goes to the positive part of the, of the primary battery. The other goes to the negative of the charging battery. All right. The bottom part of the charging side of the coil, I hope this is clear, goes directly to the negative of the primary battery. There's also a lead from the negative side of the primary battery going to, it's supposed to be clipped in here, before the diode directly to the emitter on the transistor directly to the emitter on the transistor from the negative side of the primary battery the positive from the primary from the charging battery goes to right here directly off <clears throat> that center diode okay directly off the center diode. Okay, you can follow it here. All right. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, I will email you the website on the diagram I used. You can see it in the last video. And uh, good luck everybody. 
just keep on building. My next motor is going to be here. I'm going to do three sets of ceramic magnets on all sides. The center will be where I put the coil. These other two I'm going to wrap I'm going to wrap 26 gauge wire about a thousand times around the whole motor. So I'll be getting a charge from that coil off the three coils or off the three uh, magnet sides. So anyway, that's the update. Talk to you later. Thanks.